up to six mil round nose, ball mill, um, is a roughing tool. And so its job is to take out the majority of the waste material. So there's not much definition there, but it's done exactly what we wanted it to do, and that is take away the majority of the material, which gives this little three millimeter uh, ball nose mill less of a job to do. I thought I'd just show you um, what's happening now is with this little cross here, if you can make that out, I'll zoom in, see if you can see that a little better. Now, this is the end of the tool being taken down in, but it goes in at a zigzag or ramps down because um, the machine thinks that this is all solid material, so it's cutting its way down in through. So it's plunging in and cutting sideways all at the same time. This is to avoid snapping the tool off because these tools can actually cut into material up to <coughs> three quarters of an inch deep and um, it doesn't actually need a roughing cut at all but uh, I find that the uh, little ball nose mills last ten times longer if you uh, do a roughing cut first so this is the um, ramping in of the tool so if you hear me talking about that this is what it actually is doing. So when it gets to this corner now, it should, I think, start to cut into the material. Now it's gonna go for another go. I can speed that up a bit. I can regulate the um, speed and feed uh, all in the NC Studio program. You can actually hear it cutting now. Okay, so that's uh, the start of the cut. the RPM to 24,000 RPM and um, currently running at 86% uh, of feed rate um, which is quite a bit quicker. Now the feed rate that when I wrote the program uh, was 80 millimeters per second 
Um, so that's 80 millimeters, not actually in a straight line, but that includes the up and down movements as well. So you'll see that the machine actually slows down when it comes to a, a rise in the z-axis. So that's uh, roughly, um, I think, three and a quarter inches a second of actual feed rate of the tool cutting area. Okay, I'm just going to show you this. Uh, you'll notice there's a big gouge all the way through there into the material there, which has pretty well stuffed it all up. Um, now what happened was, um, my phone rang, my mobile phone rang, and the computer just went stupid. Now what I can put it down to is, here is a radio link to the router which is inside the main house. Now, I haven't heard of this before, but I think what's happened is it's taken some sort of signal from my mobile phone and it's upset the computer and it is <laughs> which then in turn has upset the CNC machine so just about managed to catch it in time before it snapped the tool off so um, well that piece is pretty well pretty well ruined now um, I really wanted to keep this natural edge as much as I could um, but to resurrect this and actually recut it what I'm gonna have to do is machine this down to at least well I'm gonna have to machine it all the way down to here and um, then recut it into that so I'm gonna lose all the sort of natural edge um, but hey, I suppose um, huh, these things happen. No, oh, well, let's give it a go. Well, this does give me the opportunity to uh, show you uh, operating this CNC machine um, with the pendant in manual mode. So here we go. You don't have to write a program every time you want to use it. You can actually do it by hand just by selecting X and it has two actual speeds of operation. Um, if you move it slightly well, actually multiple, I can do it per thousandth of an inch pretty well <coughs> but uh, obviously if I move it faster it goes faster change the wire You know this machine does a really really nice job of planing material down and um, well there we go it's um, a fresh new slate to uh, have another go and um, well it's not going to be what uh, I wanted it to be but um, it's going to be pretty close so uh, we'll do the roughing cut and then um, then we'll do the uh, finishing cut. Now this is the third attempt 
at uh, machining this because exactly the same thing happened just now. So I faced it up again because I discovered that I was machining this without a brain because I would forgot to run a 12mm cutter to remove most of the material because this is equivalent to oak and there I was plunging a 6mm bore nose bit into oh, 22 millimeters deep into oak expecting it to cut it but what was happening was the x-axis was trying to push the tool through the material but it was stalling on a, a knot or a very very hard point so it actually went out of sync with the, the computer because it actually got through it um, but of course the computer had gone past that point and um, there was a, a, a delay in the G program so this thing doesn't really have a brain of its own it just follows commands so it skipped that point that uh, the, the delay and uh, carried on with the program that it was being sent and um, that's why the picture went at a, at a phase so nothing wrong with the computer nothing wrong with the machine it was me. Well, I thought we'd solved the problem, but we obviously haven't. If you notice, the machine's gone out of sync again, and it's broken through the side, and now it's completely ruined this and I've just found out the reason why. Um, either the bearing in this end of the X axis or that end of the axis or indeed the uh, the ball screw bearing in there um, has got a something happening to it because I heard a bit of a crunch and the X axis locked up then started moving again so it's obviously I've got a bearing problem um, so it looks like I'm going to be stripping the machine down to find out exactly how to repair it so this thing's out of action for a little while 